This video is on the German G91R4 in War Thunder, featuring the Tam light tank. Hope you guys enjoy this intro. Good map, but fill up here. I kind of feel an intro coming on though. That's one. Enemy chopper coming. Uh oh. That probably won't be good for my health very much. There's two. Oh, <laughs> that dodge, Cobra Wick. Right. I see. Enemy prop. No bear cat. These uh, machine guns only mounted on one side. It's not a good sound. Oh yeah, hi. What's up, dude? Oh, in the back of the map, spawn camping. Right, Wally. He's firing at me. Oh, that was close. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. That got close. I got 94 bullets left. There's not a lot of bullets. Hey, hey. <laughs> is that a Yak 90? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, Yak. Hello and welcome back to the channel. The War Thunder Winter Sale is finally here and with sales comes purchasing stuff online. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. Now I personally use a VPN myself for a multitude of things and Surfshark have provided us with an 84% off discount code and 4 extra months for free. Now as well as using the VPN to change regions in order to avoid expensive currency conversions, Surfshark secures your data with industry leading measures by using uncrackable encryption in the most secure VPN protocols. And it provides IP and DNS leak protection so that nobody can find where you're connecting from which keeps all your planes and tanks in your hangar where they should be and out of the hands of hackers. And while I'm rendering videos, I like to watch shows on Netflix. With Surfshark, I can connect to different countries' Netflix libraries, including the US and Japan, by merely connecting to a server in the right country. And your single subscription allows you to install and run Surfshark on an unlimited number of devices at the same time. That means you can install it on your phone and sit on the toilet till your legs go blue watching your favourite shows. Yes, I know you all do it. So remember to click the link in the description below and make sure you use my code oddbuzz to get your 84% discount and your 4 months extra free. And another huge thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. So today is Christmas Eve and tomorrow I'll be spending some time with family so there'll be no video for then. But today I decided to buy this thing on sale because Gaijin has made quite a major change to it. Now the G91R4 originally only had 2 Nords but they've decided to give it 4. Now, as anyone who knows that plays 7.7 or higher, the G91 and the A4s have been kind of running rampant right now with their ATGMs. Now, Gaijin has claimed that this is now historically accurate and that it did have four of these, but in reality, I think it's in response to adding this thing. This is the A4E early for USA and it has five bullpups at roughly the same BR. It's of course an event vehicle, which means that you can just GE it immediately. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any premium for it, but it's also a direct comparison to this. But the most alarming thing is, obviously for USA, the A4 counts as an attacker, and you've also got the FJ, which counts as a fighter, meaning that you've got two very easy plane spawns with five bullpups each. This also means if you're good enough in cast when you're playing Germany 8.7, there's a really strong chance you'll be able to bring out two G91s in with four Nords. So to a good player that's 8 free kills and obviously you can dust off anything with your cannons or 50 kills, leaving the tanks on the ground in a really sticky situation. But with this thing being half price right now, I'm expecting to see quite a lot of them, especially now knowing that this thing has 4 nords. And I'm afraid it's a very good purchase, it's a very good grinder, probably the best for the German air right now as frustrating as it might be for people who like to stick to tanks. So today I'm going to try and attempt to get into two G91s in the same game and to do that we're going to be bringing out the TAM. 
this is a fantastic little light tank. It gets a DM23 round. It's pretty nippy and it's a full stabilized platform. We get scouting. It doesn't cost a lot to spawn, so it's definitely our best choice for getting into the G91. All right, without further ado, let's take Mr. JPEG G91 into battle. Right, looking like a 9.3 game, which means XM1s. And honestly, they're really not that hard to deal with. The thing I'm going to be worried about, though, is Sergeant Yorks and Sergeant Bjorks. Either of those two things. And, oh, there's the new Russian boy, too, which has got Proxy Fuse. Proxy Fuse is the devil when it comes to doing close air support at this battle rating. And I definitely recommend that you grind one of those guys out with the Proxy Fuse shells. We're going scouting here. You gotta be very careful with thermals though. E-35s. Okay, a lot of things down here. He's already been scouted. One up top. I don't actually have any artillery. Oh. Our boy just died down here to an XM1. Seen him. I uh, seen them. Strike up. See the C two A. I'll get him. Actually, I can actually squad ping this guy. No. Let's see him, dude. Let's go, that dude. Baker's moving up. Okay, target damage, good. Come on, I need him to die before that suit runs out. There we go, thank you very much. This guy's scouts run out as well. Got him though. I want to come down on top of him actually. If I can. There we go. Latency's a problem still. For my internet, it's been pretty weird recently. Oh god. That's bulb ups. Wonder if we'll fire a second one at me. It's very likely he will waste another. Oh, there we go, we're getting killed by our XM1. Okay, I think it's jet time. Right, here we go. A saber just died. There's an F89B up. There goes a chopper. A few planes. People aren't being shy with them. There's a enemy aircraft right there. Two jets. There's one tank gone. I think I'm actually going to chase this dude. It's like a MiG-9L or something. Okay, I got him crit. Another chopper down there. Really worried about this F-89B now, I've lost him. There he is. Enemy spotted. Quite a few tanks down here as well. Okay. I'm 
Okay, I eat my lie with 50s. Now, what is going to happen when this SPA starts gunning us? There it is. That's a Sergeant York. I'm going to get a missile out on another tank here, real quick. We're going to die anyway. Okay, good. On those. Actually, really hard to pin with 50 cals. Here we go. Well, the new SPA noise is definitely helpful. Friendly chopper. I'm sure there's still an enemy jet up. Yeah, there is. I hear him. He's after me. This may be the dude we crept before. He doesn't have the energy for me. Or maybe he does. What's shooting him? Okay, flaps. That is some sort of yak or mig. He's gonna die to the SPAA. I didn't realize I brought him that far, far along. No, don't die to the hell, SPAA, dude. I didn't mean to do this. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, helicopter SPAA took him out. And we are down. There's actually quite a few enemies left, so we can spawn another G91 if we get one more kill. I'm four for four on our missiles, which is really gross. Very, very few 50 cal rounds left, though. I didn't do very well on my ground. Eh, my tank. And that's the reason why this hasn't gone well so far. And, and uh, oh, in reference to spawning another plane. Well, if someone kills that Terminator, we'll definitely get another G91. Okay, teammate got it. Four guys left. Not very many tickets. It's whether we'll get there in time or not to actually launch these. We can maybe just go for some long range stuff. Oh my god, is that, that G91 firing lots of missiles at one guy? Yeah, it was. He's probably not guiding them. That man is very dead. There's one. And I think that's it, over. Yeah, okay, well, GG. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know what BR this is actually. This might be actually a full, a full of down tier. Yeah, 750 spawn points to bring G91. I can actually see a few guys going down into that valley, but I don't have shots on any of them. Or even be able to scout them. Oh, here we go. Yes, I can. There goes one T55 AM. There's another one going that way too. Missed my opportunity here. I hate how they put this rock here. There goes another one. Yeah, now we're going to get spawn camped on that side. Check 120. There's a heavy tank over here too. Something right in front of me. Scouted. Couple things in front of me actually. Yeah, I'd like that to go away. And this other guy is still down the hill in front of you. Wow. Yeah, there's quite a lot of people here. <laughs> okay, G91 it is. Here we go. If I had one other TAM up the top there, the amount of kills we would have got there would have been crazy. 
Right, where are the spawn camperonis at? Still chilling in that valley? We got another one pushing up as well here. He may actually be going for the A cap. Yeah, it definitely looks that way. So one. Oh, okay. Not ideal. We're still alive somehow. Oh, the wingtip missing is definitely an issue. We're okay though. For the minute. Okay, it's forcing me this direction. I think I need to mouse fly for a little while. So we can get stable at least. That was a bit too much. Oh, come on. I need to nurse her a wee bit better than that. Who was the guy who just shot me, actually? No idea where he's gone. Oh, I found him. I just missed that guy trying to get into that little crevice. I can go back and land, probably, but I really want to kill this guy who wounded me. No, oh, he's dead. I think he's actually dead. Uh -oh. Yeah, go in this direction is much easier. Riskier, but it's working. There's two guys planted behind this rock down here. Oh, don't flash spin. Don't do it. Okay. Let's try and get back to land. I missed an ATGM, so... We need the extra time in this thing. Oh my god. We really shouldn't be flying like this, I don't think. And our gear's gonna have to come out at this speed. Yeah, only one-sided 50 cals are actually working. Okay, there goes my central gear leg. We don't need that one, though. We just need to get on the ground and break enough so that our parachute deploys. There we go. We're okay. <laughs> Very unusual landing. We call that help me step. Here we go. The last few guys left are actually putting up a fight. Horny Bible. Okay. Yeah, there's six enemies left now. How are we looking on spawn points? We are halfway to another G91. Still no enemy jets. This scout's firing at something. I see one dude just trying to chill over here. It looks like he just killed our teammate as well. A BMP-1. Bagel Panzer just died. Right. Rocket out. Gone. What's that Bagel Panzer shooting at? Oh, no, he just killed him. See one below. Let's touch our air brake just a tiny bit. I think there's an anti-air there as well. Oh, I got a hit on him, but nothing. <laughs> I wonder what happened there. I think I just shut my engine off and restarted it by mistake. There's a BMP here and a ZSU. He just died as well. Yeah, this was... A dramatic ending, let's see. The man is very upset with me. There he goes. Nothing else left. One, two tanks left. Maybe a plane. Nope. An 
Oh, ZSU. He is, really wants to kill this scout. Aiming at me now? Oh, someone's on C. Thank you very much, dude. A nice game. Nice. So before we go any further, I'd just like to wish everyone Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Don't worry, I'll see you before then. And hopefully by the end of 2020, we can wave goodbye to this year and usher in something a little bit better. Certainly for myself, it's been a very good year, but also some very bad negatives that I don't really talk about. But in all honesty, it's just been an absolute pleasure to start YouTube and get to where I'm at now, 60,000 subscribers. So just remember to spend some time with the people that you love tomorrow and don't worry about this grind so much. And to everyone who's supported my channel and been a friend to me this year, it's just been awesome. Love you guys very much. And of course, to all the patrons on Patreon, thank you guys for your support there as well, especially the tier three folks over there. That's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Thumpin' Bunny, Houndy, Gateway, Billy L, Trash Panda, Rage, Sailcat, Zema, Kane the Salt Lord, Viking Gods, Warpig, The Fire Piper, Sexy, Varian, Yogbo, Justin Darlin, J Tormey, and Fearsome Scotsman. And to everyone who's made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Much love and Merry Christmas.